And so what logic does, it helps you, first of all, understand concepts because we have to come to terms. Like if I say democracy, what is democracy? What's the genus, if we want to define democracy, what's the genus? So government. government. Okay, so that's the genus. It's a government. What's the difference between it and other governments? Like, In inclusion. Okay, inclusion. What, 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 what? For the people, by the people. Okay, that's a definition. Government for, of, for, and by the people, right? So it's basically democracy, the difference is the people rule, right? Demos is mob or people, and kratos is rule. So it's the rule of people. So government where people rule. Do we live in a democracy? That's, a, that's arguable. Some people would say yes. How are you defining democracy? The, what, how did the Founding Fathers find, define the government? That they, did they call it a democracy? Constitution. What did they call it? Republic. They called it a republic. Right. They didn't call, in fact, it only started becoming, being called a democracy when Andrew Jackson became president. And even then it still wasn't because women, women were not enfranchised. Certainly uh, minorities were not enfranchised. So it was basically the rule of white males at that time. And even then, Anglo-Saxon white males, because even the Irish, um, yeah, and, and you had to have land to vote. So you had to be landed, you had to, you know. So it wasn't really a democracy, right? But it was called that. A republic is res publicus, represent, representational government. So we're actually more of a republic than a democracy. And, and, and so you elect people that represent you. Do they represent you? There's people that believe that we have a corporatocracy, that it's basically the rule of corporations because they're the ones that are really represented by these rulers, uh, by these uh, elected officials, that they, they actually work against the interests of the majority of people. But it's still relatively comfortable. People still feel, most people, not all people, a lot of people are, are suffering and disenfranchised, but a lot of people still feel things work, I'm okay, I'm free, I can say what I want, I've got a job, things are good. So they don't really think about what's happening in Washington, D.C. a whole lot. That's an example, again, where if we have to come to terms. We have to, when we speak, if I say Islam and you think Daesh, we, we haven't come to terms because we, everybody in this room, we know that Daesh doesn't represent us. But a lot of people out there think that's Islam. So we have a big problem in trying to communicate who we are and what Islam is when, when, when we have those misunderstandings. So what logic does is it helps people learn how to reason properly and then learn how to identify mistakes uh, in, in their reasoning.